presents Big Ten Toughest Basketball. It's an electric atmosphere today at the Breslin Center in East Lansing, Michigan. The Badgers of Wisconsin and the Spartans of Michigan State. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Barber along with Greg Castle today. What a day it is. Finally senior day. Jeff Heathcote is being honored as Greg talked about. And there is a big game of some significance today. Michigan State must win. Get some help from their rival Michigan tomorrow to share the Big Ten Conference Championship with Purdue. Meanwhile, the Badgers want to win today to finish above 500 and get to the NIT. We'll give you all the key matchups and the starting lineups when we come back today here on Raycon. Finley and Griffith, the big guys for Wisconsin. Michael can do just about anything he wants with the ball. For Michigan State, there's fire and ice, Greg at guard. Well, Eric Snow, Sean Rusper, both playing in their last game on the campus, looking to have a big day. In <laughs> there it is. Yeah. They look pretty comfortable there. <laughs> By the way, Wisconsin gave $2,000 worth of cheese to Lansing Food Banks in Judd's name. Nice cause and a nice gesture. Snow and Rusper at the guards, and Eric off another strong assist game against the Hawkeyes runs the offense but that's the man right there he's going to be guarded by many players he's going to get a lot of screens they're going to switch on him they're going to make sure he's always guarded Rester. and Snow quickly to the basket got fouled a lot of emotions flying today I mean just sure. goes last game the seniors Michigan State also a little bit down because they lost control of their destiny when they lost to Iowa last Wednesday by one point it was such a great game that afterwards Judd said, you know, it's a shame either team had to lose. It's a double shame we had to lose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Snow's free throw shooting has really picked up the last couple of years. And he had five threes the other night. Beautiful pass by Respert. And an even better pump fake by Quentin Brooks. Eight wins in the conference. That could get the NIT's attention. Respert firing, scoring. Coming off 39 big points Wednesday at Iowa City. In that game, Sean scored 20 of Michigan State's last 24. And here they come again. So far, no letdown. One of nine so far, Greg. Deep! He'll do that from time to time. Serving notice that you better pick Resford up when he crosses half court. That was a half court shot. <laughs> Nothing going right for Wisconsin and back come the Spartans. Brooks. You know, Wisconsin is a very flat team right now. They don't seem to be in this at all. Stan Van Gundy could use a timeout right He's now. He's going to get one. Martin's about ready to blow him out here, and we've only played five minutes. Michigan State 16, Wisconsin 2 here on Raycom. Some high-low action going in Wisconsin. Oh! That is called the alley-oop. Yeah. And they've been doing that for years here. Billy's had a couple of shooting slumps this year. Pennick dials it up and scores. He's a senior, so this is one of his best days. Snow to push it up, lay it up and in. Eric Snow trying to make things happen, and he did right there. He pushed it, then pushed Hoskins out of the way. <laughs> Hoskins out of control, but a bumping foul coming up on Michigan State's Polonowski. So we are going back to the free throw line. Judd can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> he can't believe it. And he got a couple of thumps earlier. He wants a little help from Ed Hightower. <laughs> Just two seconds oh. left on a shot clock and a beautiful follow-up underneath by Fight. It's interesting right now, Wisconsin is ready to be blown out. Michigan State is ready to be caught. Neither team really taking advantage of the situation right now. Instead, they're both in a hole. Brooks tries to get things going. A nice slash to the way. Back Brooks is the leading scorer for Michigan State until that shot by Rusper. Maybe that'll get Sean going. Leonard came down on his hip. 
out of bounds, but was okay after jumping the rail. Westbrook. He's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy. Well, a great shooting day for Westbrook if you contrast it with that of Richard Griffith. Yeah. Beautiful block by Finley. Westbrook gives it off, and Buffet scores. And the Badgers may need their final timeout. It's a 19-point game. I think they're going to take it. And the fans will approve of it. Now Snow is in the game with 11.31 left. He has four fouls. Has to be extra careful. Bethea had a look and took the better option. He had a look and a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, a little acrobatic shot there, missed. Yeah. And even if there's contact on a play like that, a lot of times when you're seemingly out of control, you're not going to get any help from the official. John Westbird with a three. Westbird. Looking for a four-point play. You know, I think that handshake he gave you just moments ago might have, might have inspired him. This guy's losing many games at the buzzer this year. Finally got one to go there with. his heels. Michigan State's successor already here. Assistant head coach Tom Izzo will do a good job with this program. I think the Spartans did it the right way. Nice dish from Snow and a basket by Brooks yeah. by naming what is now the associate head coach Tom Izzo as the heir to Judd giving him some time to get in position for it I guess. Unlike Stan Van Gundy, who took over really at the 11th hour for Stu Jackson. Right. Look at the ball movement. You know, Andy Pennick, that was pressure. <laughs> 47 second half Michigan State points. And they're not done. Piling it on now. Resper now with seven three-pointers. And pretty soon he's going to get a curtain call. Would you call this overkill? <laughs> I can't wait for the ovation. <laughs> First, Eric Snow gets the ovation. He's made himself a terrific player through hard work. That almost looks like he's crying there. Oh, this is bittersweet. Make no mistake about it. He thought about it. He got a little encouragement, too. Two guys that will see some proactivity next year. There's some conversation going yes, on there. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, my. Can you believe that? And Brooks to finish. They better hurry up and get a stoppage of play, or Resford isn't going to get a sub. Michigan State's going to have to foul. They're going to foul intentionally, intentionally here. And that was the indication from the Spartan bench. Wisconsin will bring in a new five, and Sean Respert will get his due. And we will let you enjoy it. Seven assists, eight three-pointers, and a whole lot of memories. He finishes today as one of Michigan State's greatest.
There have been only two numbers retired in Michigan State basketball history. I'd like to motion that they add a third. I'll second that. For Magic and Special K. I think if you took a vote on that right now, there would be no nays. But a fitting day for Judd Heathcote, it began with a standing ovation. A strong performance by his team. The win over Wisconsin, and it will end with a 45-minute to an hour tribute right afterwards. Last game for Andy Pennick. And the seniors getting a nice round of applause here. And with respect to his successor, he has said, I don't want to hang around this campus to be the old coach just hanging around and overshadowing what's happening. I want Tom to have every reason to succeed. Exactly. He told me that about two years, three years ago when I asked him what his plans were after uh, leaving the helm here. He says, hey, back out west. And as you said, has that house going up right now on a golf course. And he's a very <laughs> avid golfer. Has a lot of friends in the Big Ten coaching fraternity as well as coaches across the country. For 100. And Judd's day caps off with a 97-72 win over the Badgers of Wisconsin. And so now they'll look for a little help from their most bitter rivals. <laughs> That won't be easy for some of these folks. Judd will be back for an encore performance, and Greg and I will be back as well. A final and fitting goodbye from Sean Respert. Final score today, Michigan State 97, Wisconsin 72. Judd ends the final day as best way it can be finished with a victory.